Nowadays, scientists are thinking of how to send humanity to space in case it becomes impossible for us to live on Earth. But how is it possible to travel from a planet to another knowing that both of them are moving? And how can we escape from the force of attraction of the Earth to reach our target? Let's suppose that those are two static points on Earth, A and B. To travel from A to B, it's simple. We just need to follow the line. But in the case of the interplanetary spaceflight, the two planets are moving. So what I'm trying to explain here is the process of space shuttle reaching a planet. In this case, the space shuttle and the planet to be reached meet at the position of their arrival, which is unoccupied at the time of departure, and which we can calculate according to the velocity of each of them. Because of the mobility of the target, launches can take place only within well-defined periods of time, where the two planets are fairly close. Now, how can a space shuttle reach space? Did you know that space is at just 100 kilometers above the sea level? First of all, before reaching its target, the space shuttle has to go beyond Earth gravitational influence, so it has to reach the first cosmic velocity of 7.9 kilometers per second, which will allow it to be on orbit around the Earth and will prevent it from falling back. Then the second cosmic velocity of 11.2 kilometers per second, which will allow it to move away from the Earth. To reach this velocity, we need energy, so we need fuel. And to transport this fuel, we need more energy. We finally found ourselves in a situation where much of the fuel consumed is used to transport fuel, then to reach our target. After leaving the Earth, the space shuttle benefits from the speed of revolution of the Earth around the Sun, which is about 108,000 km per hour, before using the speed provided by its engine. It can also benefit from the gravitational assist, which is the use of the relative movement and gravity of a planet to accelerate the speed of the space shuttle, without exceeding the speed where landing on the other planet would be impossible. But after reaching this planet, we might think about how to adapt human beings to these life conditions and how to move on that planet. Adaptation needs to be in relation to other specific points such as water, oxygen, plants, and so on. And that will be my next research subject.